Today I'm going to look at some of the differences between PowerShell 5.1, 6.2 and what is about to be 7 as the release goes. So first of all we have the is Windows. Now is Windows in 5.1 doesn't give us anything. Is Windows in 6.2 gives us a true value because it's a Windows machine. And unsurprisingly in 7 also gives us a value of true. Um, this is because the is Windows and is Linux work quite comfortably in the PowerShell core and later versions, although they don't work in earlier ones such as 5.1. So depending on if you're intending to write an environment uh, specific code, that could actually be quite a useful function. Another big change is workflows, um, as well as parallelism. So. As an example, in 1.5, if I want to go and do something in parallel, the only real option I've got is to use workflows. Now, since most of us really only use workflows for parallel operations, because frankly, if there was another way of doing it, we would, um, it's kind of disappointing to see that workflows disappeared in 6.2 and are also gone in 7. But that doesn't mean the functionality is gone, it just means that workflows no longer exist. So let's do a quick comparison as an example. So if we can't use workflows anymore for parallelism, and we know that parallelism doesn't exist in just regular functions, um, we, we're kind of left with the situation that in 5.1 we have an inability to look at alternatives. So kind of there is this switch between 5.1 and 6.2 where you're kind of left with this um, what do I do, what's the workaround, uh, have I actually just lost performance and honestly yeah they, 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 it's kind of the answer if you're doing parallel um, it is so I'm sorry but 6.2 you kind of suck at this area that's not to say that it can't run and do the, all the regular stuff and it made great improvements over 5.1 but this is one of the few things where it seemed like a step backwards and this is one of those points where I'm just going to have to point out that this was not a great move guys you could have done something in the meantime but just for performance sake we'll run the command anyway and we're going to show that this is a 12 second scenario getting 6 folders to seconds gap in between so 12 seconds it is and that compared with our five second workflow before that that's bad that's not great at all so what happens when we move over to powershell 7 or in this case we can even try it in 6 first which is to try it with the parallel option so we, we apparently can't do it in 6.2 so we'll move over to 7 so 7 we can do this and we can use the parallel option this means that we can effectively do the same as we were able to do with workflows and we're under five seconds so we're a little ahead of the workflow and this is using the default parameters if I wanted to get a little bit faster because I know as an example there are six folders um, I'm going to just set the throttle limit to 10 that way it's more than six and we can try again and we take our performance down yet one hurdle further and we're down to 2.8, 2.6, yeah, something like that. Um, frankly, that you can see that PowerShell 7 has a massive improvement even over 5.1 in this area. So now let's move on to some of the other brilliant changes uh, as they are. So first of all, we have an X parameter and the X parameter is empty. What if I use the if it's not, uh, sorry, if it is empty and set a value. So in this case, it was saying it's empty, I'd like to use 33. And then I can do the if it's empty, use equal, and I can actually set the parameter. So I no longer need to use a much longer version of this command where I might have done something like if and then gone empty parameter and then set the parameter. I can now do this in one simple syntax. And that's just one improvement. Another example of this, and we basically take the same thing to the next logical conclusion. Here saying if module exists, then do this. Or if it doesn't exist, do this. Um, I can do the same here just using our previous example with the double question mark. And um, yeah, 
the script doesn't fire the second part but the first part does so that's an example of some subtle changes that have been made and frankly changes that I really start to like that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did give us a like and if you didn't well you know what to do